um, and then a uh, young Japanese designer, Toshikazu Iwaya. But this is more like a, inspired by Japanese um, tattoo or you know Japanese street culture, right? Like a Hokusai style, these monster figures. Um, and then moving on, Hiromi Asa. Oh, so this one, uh, she is based in New York. And sometime I'm going to in, uh, invite her to give a talk. Uh, and her work is really elaborate. Um, so uh, she directly refers to the tradition of kimono. Uh, and she works with Japanese artisans in order to create these fabrics that she wants. Um, and then sometimes she used that Indian tradition, right? Like this ensemble, like a, uh, the chest cover and the skirt is obviously from India, but then uh, the model has a uh, Japanese style yukata uh, robe on the top. Um, so those kind of uh, designers. Uh, but then you have these Asian American designers, meaning they are, they grew up as uh, immigrant children or transnational artists, right? And then uh, they made their reputation uh, in the United States. Uh, and the first person comes to mind is Vera Wang, um, great uh, businesswoman. In fact, she never, she never, she's never trained in fashion design school. Um, she was more like a marketing um, executive, but then eventually she created her line of uh, uh, wedding dress. But people like Vera Wang, she's not referring to the Chinese tradition. Simply, she's a global designer of uh, bridal gowns. And then Jason Wu. Do you like Jason Wu? To me, it is a very... Hmm, urban and avant-garde. I like a little bit more delicate style, <laughs> just personal taste. Um, and Alexander Wang. Uh, yeah, I like Alexander Wang very much, uh, very creative. Um, and then Han Chong, um, self-portrait. Do you know self-portrait? I think it's in the um, major departments. Uh, and then Simone Rocha, 